hi everyone welcome back to my channel and today you guys I'm gonna show you how to make one of these very simple and easy coin purses now you guys I'm making this one for my knees so I'm just gonna be using zipper and these are the fabrics that I have now I literally just take some scraps of fabrics and I cut out a pattern now the pieces I went ahead and joined this together but this is just gonna be the front which is represented here and this little strip is going to be what is going to line up here and this is the fabric that I'm going to be using you guys now this is a fabric that I used to make a bag for her to go back to school now this fabric is just super nice and it feels very really nice it's like a microfiber velvet type of um, fabric I think it's actually velvet it's really really nice and this is her bag that she's going to be wearing to go back to school which this is really really nice so I'm just gonna be making a coin purse to go along with that so that this leave that one side now this is it and I'm just gonna be laying this over in here and cutting out the pieces okay you guys so, so this is it so the zipper I'm gonna put the zipper in but this is the piece that I'm gonna be using for here and here so now I'm just gonna go ahead and insert the zipper so this is how you basically insert the zipper you're just gonna be taking this and it's just gonna be whatever um direction that you want to place the zip in is okay but the part of the zip that is usually showing you're just gonna be placing it down on the right side of the fabric and then you're gonna be sandwiching it with this now this is the the part that you want to show inside of the bag so you're gonna be putting wrong side the wrong side is gonna be facing up as you see i have here so you're gonna have the part of the fabric that you want to show on the inside of the bag facing down onto the part that is gonna be showing on the outside of the bag and you're just gonna be sewing along there okay guys so this is what it's gonna look like once you get the stitch but I just actually went and did a flat stitch going straight out so the next thing that you're gonna do is from here now as you can see this is the part of the, the zip that has a little slider so you're gonna take your fabric the top part of it and you're gonna be placing the right side down onto it like this so that's going at the front and then you're just gonna be taking this part and lay it at the back and again sandwiching the zipper and you get a stitch going down here and then when you turn it over you're also gonna get a flat stitch going there as well so I'm gonna do mine okay guys so I just went ahead and put in that one and again I did a flat stitch and then I just stitched going all the way around um, and the reason why I did this is just to hold down the two pieces of fabric together so when I fold it like that and I'm doing it it doesn't shift around now before i do that i cut a strip of fabric and this is gonna be making the little hook that is gonna be here so you can actually just hold hold the purse like that so what i'm gonna do is just to fold it in two on the wrong side and then i'm just gonna stitch along going straight down and then i'm gonna turn it over and sew it onto here but I want to do it first because I'm going to need to stitch on the wrong side all around this. Okay guys, so this is a piece of fabric that I stitched. Now I flat stitched it. So I stitched it on the wrong side, turned it over, flat stitched it. Now I'm just going to be folding it like this. And I'm going to be placing it right at the top here. And I'm just going to be getting a stitch going down here. Now you want to ensure that you're at least like half an inch away. You don't want to go too close to the edge. Because you're going to be folding this over on, on itself like this. And you're going to be stitching around. So you want to leave enough space. So I'm just going to go and stitch there. And then I'm just going to be going, placing this down like this. I'm just going to be stitching right along here. Now you wanna when you're sewing this you want to sew as close as you can but be be sure that whenever you're stitching you get down the second layer of fabric the lining and you just stitch down there you can always trim it up afterwards but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my guys 
there is one thing that is very important to note and that is before you go ahead and stitch around it you want to ensure that you move the zipper going like halfway down because this is the, how you're gonna be able to turn the bag over so you want to ensure because else you're gonna have the whole entire thing stitched shut which means you're gonna have to pick out it and do this so just do this before I went ahead and stitched this down and just go stitch right around and as I said ensure that you get in the second layer of fabric okay you guys so this is what it's gonna look like once you finish sewing around and I just um, trim up all the way around it now you guys if you have a serger you can just serge all the way around it to neaten the edges or if you have a zigzag um, sewing machine you just zigzag around there and you can just flip it out and leave it just the way it be is doing is just to leave it just the way it is and just flip it on over and the reason why I'm not gonna be either zigzagging it or surging it is because I'm gonna be using the flat stitch method so I'm just gonna be flat stitching all the way around it and I actually just like the way how that looks I just like the look of it but you guys this is what it would basically look like if you just went ahead and surged around it or zigzag it it would just look something just like this and this is very cool just the way it is but I actually just like the look of it when it actually leaving flat now let me make you guys see this and as you can see um, it's not really looking too bad it actually looks puffy and you can just leave it just like this or you can go ahead and flat stitch around it like I did for this one and then that will leave it looking flat but what I am gonna be doing you guys is is alright so I just got a strip of fabric all right now you guys you remember earlier I showed you the bag and okay so these I just made these so she can be easy for her to slide back and forth well you know so I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is just I got a strip of fabric right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna be shoving it through the small area here this one um, and this one the, the whole entire thing actually broke off for me and that's actually why I, I may I'm making another one for her so I actually just push it through the zipper itself and it runs just fine but I'm gonna take this one for myself and then I made this one for her so I'm gonna be pushing this through here and I'm gonna do it to make it look something like this because I just want to you know tie in back this thing and as you can see it's the same fabric that I use here on the side of the bag so I'm just gonna go and push this through and see how it's going so, to okay guys so now I'm all done and you guys can see how I did this I just shoved it through and then I curve just cut and curve it and then just give it a stitch going right around the edges and this is really nice because it just looks a little bit different and instead of just looking so plain you have this on it and it just really brings up just like you have um, this bag and I put put some on and I basically just did the same thing just shoved it through these zippers are way bigger and I just shoved it through and I did the same thing on this one so you can flat stitch them around if you want or you can just leave it like this and it looks puffy probably I just leave this one just like this I'm not sure how she wants it so I'll probably just leave it but I kind of like the flat stitch effect but yeah you guys this is just two ways you can do them you can just leave it like this or you can flat stitch it going around either way you guys they're cute they're very easy to make and you can put the strings on either ends and you can leave the, the strings looking chunky like this one or you can flat stitch it like this one either way you guys they look really nice so thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video bye